What's up guys, Eric here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I've given up on Savitar. What? So you guys are probably saying to yourself, Eric, what do you mean you've given up on Savitar? Already? We're right here at the end of the season. What are you talking about? Well, what I mean is I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of trying to figure out who he is. I feel like I've ran the marathon 50 times already. And most of the channels that I follow have done like five or 10 like theory videos on who they think it could be. Even I've concocted some theories in my head. I've made a couple of videos trying to debunk who Savitar could or couldn't be. It's exhausting. I'm so tired. I'm tired. I need the reveal. I need it right now. <laughs> I need to know who Savitar is right this second. And to make things even worse, the showrunners kind of took all the fun out of it for me when the cast and the team behind uh, Flash came out and said, hey, by the way, you're never going to guess who he is. There are no hints. We haven't put any hints out. So literally everything that could be a hint is probably not a hint. Like what about all the cryptic messages that Savitar has given us this season? All the little things, I am the future, comma, flash. One will betray you, one will fall, one will suffer a fate worse than death. What are all of these little cryptic things if they're not hints, if they don't mean anything. For me, part of the fun of figuring out who the big bads are for the seasons is like trying to put together pieces to the puzzle because the fun of it is trying to figure out who's the turncoat, who's the one who's doing something behind the scenes, who's the one who knows something but's not saying anything. So by telling us that we're never gonna figure out who it is because there are no hints literally means that it could be someone that's not even on the show regularly. Maybe not even a previous cast member. It could be someone that we've never met before, which at this point, I kind of hope it is. Because if it is someone on the show and it's some weird, like ultra convoluted, you know, storyline leading up to this character, it's gonna, I just hope it doesn't feel like the showrunners didn't have a path for Savitar, like at the beginning of the season. Like I need it to feel organic. I need it to make sense. I need it to sort of add up. I need all the ducks to be in a row. I need the dominoes to fall all in the right direction. Like I need to feel like everything that's happened this season, all of the little pieces that have been placed in front of us add up to this big reveal. If it ends up being something so completely out of the you know left field, you know no, nothing adds up, nothing makes any sense, I think it's gonna let a lot of us down. I know it'll let me down, definitely. I hope that all of these theory videos add up to something. I hope that somebody's theory is right because if it isn't anyone that, I mean, I've seen theories for every single character. I have seen a theory video for everyone, even people that aren't on the show anymore. So with all of these theory videos, this Savitar's reveal, I think is leading up to a hype or the hype leading up to it is not gonna pay off. I don't think we're gonna get what we wanna get out of it. And that's the depressing part about it. Another thing, all of the guys dropping like 20 theory videos. I love you guys. I do. I, I love you all. <laughs> Thank you for making so much content to keep us enjoyed. But listen, if you've dropped 20 theory videos and you've named more than two characters on the show, possibly being Savitar, if you have done that on your channel, then when his reveal comes out, I don't care if you're right or not, you don't get the right to say that you guessed it. <laughs> if you've literally dropped more than two videos with theories on who you think Savitar is, and you've not made one definitive video saying, this is my theory, this is the character that I think it is. If you have not done that, then you do not have the right to claim that you guessed anything, and I'm gonna call y'all out on it. <laughs> but no, the truth is there's so many theory videos, who knows who's right, who knows at this point. I'm just really tired, like I've sat down and tried to do my own theory videos, and every time I start writing it, writing out notes or writing out little things I should remember, I'm just like, but they said th there's no hints. They said that we'll never guess. It's like, is this a trick? What is this? Dear Flash, Savitar needs to be a satisfying reveal. Make sure it makes sense. Make sure that it doesn't feel like you didn't have a plan from the beginning of the season. If it feels like you just threw this in at the end, a lot of people are gonna be upset. I'm gonna be really annoyed. I'm getting heated right now because of the Savitar thing. It's just driving me crazy. So I've officially given up on Savitar. I'm not gonna try and figure out who he is, all right? I, I can't do it. Who's Savitar? Who, who is Savitar? I, can somebody please, please tell me who Savitar is? Oh, screw it. Leave your best Savitar theories in the comments below. I can't stop. No matter how tired I am, no matter how much I've given up on it, I need more Savitar theories. So down in the comments.
<laughs> Leave your Savitar theories, you guys. We have to figure out who he is. Uh, I need to take a break. I need a break from the internet. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.